already. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I need oh, to... you're... <laughs> you're already crying. Oh, I love you. December 30th. Oh yeah, it goes here. It goes here to here, and then I have like all the attributes that I like wanted. Connor, undoubtedly the one thing that has refined me most and required surrender to the deepest places of my heart was my desire and wait for you. I've held longing, hope, and complete joy tightly for the last almost 31 years asking God to bring me his best. Oh, we're in last week. Thank you. When we were growing up, Jewel and I would rate Chandler and Taylor's boyfriends by the bedtime stories they told us. <laughs> Jewel and I would get in bed and they would tell us stories and we would rate them or we would just say, you know, that wasn't as good as so-and-so's. <laughs> but Connor, you are the story. You're just what we've always wanted for Chandler, and you are the best story that God could have ever written for her. Oh! Tell me, Connor. Brain quit! So in 13, I'm at a wedding. God doesn't speak clear to me very often that I hear it, but at that wedding, he spoke to me. And so I grabbed Chan and I said, I saw your husband, he's coming. You don't need to worry, he's coming. Hi, see me? So I'm the only one in this room that never prayed for her to have a husband. <laughs> because I saw him coming. A lot of this goes back to being right here in Scottsdale. Two years ago, we came with some friends and dad asked everyone, what are you believing for this year? And I said, a husband. <laughs> Today, I gave you a box of letters that I began writing to you 15 years ago. Faceless and nameless, I wrote, sharing my heart and life. I fervently wrote and prayed for you. I ached to know who you were and when God would bring you. Towards the end of the year, I was losing quite a bit of hope. On November 22nd, I wrote, Lord, I'm weak and full of disappointment. God, I know this is not of you. I want to worship you, the giver of sweet gifts, not the gift. I am worthy of a man of God. You've been preparing for me my whole life. I pray he's a kingdom builder, a discipler. I pray he's emotional. Well, oh, that's true. Um, I pray he loves you so, so much that he is praying similar things. God, I pray that 2020 would still be my year. <laughs> Time does not constrain or contain you. You can and you will do it in Jesus' name. Chandler announced she was gonna get married in 2020 and I'm afraid I maybe laughed at that. <laughs> but we started praying, 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 praying. And my goodness, December 28th, she found her man. When Connor started talking about Chandler, I could tell there was something in his voice. I thought, oh my gosh, I think this is the one. Chandler started dating Connor, and I remember I said, how do you feel it's going? How are we doing? And she said, I don't know how he feels about me. <laughs> We're laughing because we all know that period was a bit. But she said, I don't know how he feels about me. But then she followed it up with, I know exactly how I feel about him. Yes, and at the time, I didn't want to be that guy that was like, it's your husband! But in my heart, I knew. I knew from the very first time that they were going on a date, and I'm pretty sure I sent a voice memo or something. I'm like, I believe that this is your husband, and I am praying that he is your husband. And here we are. Dad, your turn. <laughs> Mm, I love you. Thank you so much. This has come up so many times this weekend. She's not just a friend to someone, she's their best friend. Would you please raise your hand if Chandler Mann was your maid of honor? 
Yeah, my hand's up too. She's been a bridesmaid in over 20 weddings. She's been a maid of honor in seven, including my own. Most people in this room call Chandler Man their best friend. <laughs> and it's because Chandler is honestly the best. So it's very fitting she is becoming the best. Chandler, the Lord is giving you a new best friend. Someone that is going to love and encourage you like you do to so many others. How sweet is the Lord to bring you Connor best. As I reflect back at hundreds of letters, the word best leaps off the page. I was praying for you the whole time by name and didn't know it. You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's perfect. The dress is perfect. Oh, you look so beautiful. I love you. Oh my gosh. It's here. It's here. Connor, you are one of the biggest answered prayers of my life. The way that you love her, support her, and encourage her is the sweetest gift. Tomorrow will be one of the best days of my life as I watch my best friend marry the love of her life and enter into the sweetest covenant. the weight. It is my biggest honor to wear your last name as a testimony of our story that is a part of a much bigger one. From this day forward, I will love and cherish you, comfort and support you, and hold you above all others. I will lead and protect you as we share our life with God who gave us one another. The reason I can make these vows to you today is because although I do believe God gave me His best, my very best is found in Him. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride. Yes. Can I get an amen on God has been faithful here? Seeing Connor and Chandler together, you cannot deny this is compelling evidence that God is good. Welcome you to our family. You have absolutely answered our prayers. He's loyal, he's passionate, he's devoted. Generous and charming, faithful and creative. Fearlessly chasing after God. Everything and more I'd wanted and prayed for Chandler. You and Chandler both celebrate others so well. That friend who will be there for you no matter what. Fiercely and faithfully loves Jesus Christ. Kind, humble, servant-hearted, generous. If you don't feel the power of God in this room, I almost want to have an altar call right now. You're going to live on mission. I know you're going to do great things. You guys are going to do epic things. It's going to be amazing, and you're going to be a city on a hill. The Chandler would say, this is everything. So cheers to Connor and Chandler. My heart has been praising and thanking the Lord for blessing me with the most godly, beautiful, loving, kind, and gracious woman of God. You are my greatest answered prayer.